guys, it is Corbin here with Outdoor Fanatics, and today we are going to be um, showing you what I got in my tackle box. So, let's start out. I got my little backpack. This, I made this about two months ago. I'm going to make this super quick, guys. If I'm talking too fast, I'm so sorry. Um, I just want to make this super quick and not too long because some people don't want to watch, you know, 11 minute video of me showing what's in my tackle box. So, I'm going to try to speed it up for you guys. To, so that you guys can enjoy the video. First, I got my big dividers. I got three big dividers, and these are like this is like a hodgepodge, hodgepodge of um baits in this one. Not very. They're big. They're bigger baits. They're they're bigger baits. Oh, I can never get this open. But I'll try to be some. I'll try to be quick. So I've got first. Got these two paddle tails. Got this one um little it's got a rattle to it treble hook and a single hook up top swim bait with just a single hook you know just a regular swim bait with a paddle tail on it love paddle tails guys they have great action got this off of my mystery tackle box this is a little like texas rigged with a jig head paddle tail great i think it's a great color for fishing some people can agree Jerk bait with a rattle to it. Great bait. Caught some rockfish on that. A really weird bait. It's a baby flounder with like a heavy jig head and a hook on top. Got a little shrimp. Very, very cool. Pink shrimp. Um... I'm not going through everything, guys, because some of them are a little boring. A uh, little, um, this is called a striper. Stri no, straight bass popper. I think that's what they call it. Being my cotton cordell. Very good one. Bunch of swim baits, guys. Plastic swim bait. Paddle tail. Not sure what that is, but okay. Guys can agree. Great bait right here. Great bait. Met center bait. Hopefully you guys can agree. That catches multiple species of fish. Uh, let's go over here. I'm gonna go. I'm trying to get this quick, guys. If I'm talking too fast, sorry. Two rooster tails. Booyah frog for snakehead fishing. Rattle trap. That's what, that's what I got in that one. Let's go to my bigger bait. This is my bigger bait, guys. A lot of stuff I got my Mr. Tackle Box, guys. If you haven't already got one, I would get one. If you're trying to get some more baits. Pencil popper. Very big pencil popper compared to my hand. Very big one. Huge popper made by Cotton Cordell as well. That pencil popper isn't made by, but that other popper that I showed you in that other box was a Cotton Cordell. Walking bait. Zuri walking bait. Zara Spook, very, very good bait. Black on top, very good bait. This is like a jerk bait slash like swim bait. Um, it's got a little movement to it. It's got also, you know, that bill in front there. Very good bait. I haven't tried it out yet, but seen it in water, and this is a pretty good um, bait. Here's a little dying jerk bait. That's what it's called. So it's like not very good. It does not move that good, but it does have a little bit of action to it. Uh. Not, I'm not going to mess with that right now, cause, but it's just a regular jerk bait. Here's a huge jerk bait compared to my hand. Look at that. It's right up close to it. Big jerk bait. This one's pretty cool, too. Look at the look at the detail on that, guys. It looks like a little ball of shad or minnows. All right. Now we got, like, the largemouth bass slash panfish. 
section. I'm gonna, guys, again, I'm just going through some of the good baits, you know, some of the baits that stand out. Frog. Big Popper. Lipless, oh, can't really see that. Lipless Crank. Very small little crankbait. Cricket crankbait. Bunch of crankbaits. Uh, here's another crankbait. Found that somewhere. Nice chatterbait with a nice trailer on it. And then just some spinner baits that I got from Walmart for a dollar. And I thought it was a good deal. And then I just got some like little little spinner baits and some jig guys. Nothing really important. Okay, I think that might be all for this box. Except I have a few hooks down here, like you know, a bunch of just different rot hooks and all that. Always keep a knife on me. And I'm fishing in because he's got to cut the line. I'm not going to go through these guys because there's so many of them. Look at all of these saw plastics. It's a lot, and I just made a mess, but okay. We're going to switch over to the other tackle box, and I swear it'll be a little bit shorter. Here we go. Here it is, guys. Only the top part of the shrimp actually lights up, but it is pretty cool. I'm in the dark, see? I am in the dark. But that actually is cool, man. Got the other tackle box here. As you can see, I like stickers. Cracks baby open. I swear, there's not a lot. So, there's not as much stuff as there was in there. So we're gonna go through this, and we're not gonna get everything because I don't want this video to be too too long. Okay, but we're gonna go through the stuff that's you would. I think like this is just a little. I don't know, little worm with a jig head on it. I got this, which is a little like big. Spinner on it, like a beetle spin on it. Not a beetle spin, but a um, offset spinner. People say this is a spoon, but it's actually called a crippled LY or a crippled Chad. Um, you know, whatever you want to call it. A few soft plastics, just big paddle tails. I like paddle tails, guys. They got good action. And curly tails. I like curly tails, too. Or Mr. Twisters. Another little spinner bait there I wouldn't consider it a buzz bait I don't know why I just don't consider them that except if it's an actual buzz bait like from like the you know the Guggen bus but or the Guggen Hummer that is a buzz bait and what is that I am scared for my house right now okay a uh, little Cinco or my friend calls it a Sanko he calls it a little he calls it Oh, is that a Sanko? He doesn't have an accent. He just—he doesn't have an accent. It's just—he just calls it that. I don't know. This is a little watermelon-colored um swim bait. Okay, okay, okay. Beetle spin, guys. Great, great, great lore. Oh, also, if you hear footsteps upstairs, I'm in I'm in my basement, so that's probably why. Shad dart, or a couple shad darts. Shad dart. Yeah, I go shad fishing. Yes, there are shad up in Maryland uh, in the spring. We do catch them here. Curly tails. Some little like I don't even know what these things are. They're just like worms. They're like. Skinny, skinny like worms that you put like a jig head on or something. Lizards. Got this little compartment in my tackle box. A tackle box inside of a tackle box. Two Mr. Twisters with a jig head on it. 
Then these are the stuff that I cut off a line. All this stuff was like stuck on a line. I don't even know if you can see that. I got like a, here, I'll show you. This is a little um, swim bait. I mean, a spinner bait, sorry. This is like a little, it's got that little spinner in front, see? With a little, uh, oh, Jesus. With a little uh, fish right there. Oh, oh, some of it, stuff on the stuff came off. This is a little, uh, like a little spoon type thing. Yeah, and that's basically what I got on this side. Two compartments, and we shall be done with this as soon as we get done with this compartment. Because that's about all the stuff I have in mind. And I don't want to make this video very long. Like I said, 15,000 times. Jeez. I like creating myself. Rattle trap, like mini, mini rattle trap. I got like a couple other spoons, little fly crankbait. This is a look at how small this crankbait is. And yes, it is a crankbait. It's got that bill on it. See it? It's got a bill on it. So it is a crankbait. Okay. Guys, that'll be it for this video. Sorry, the camera's like that. That'll be it for this video. Um, remember, I am doing a giveaway at 100 subs, so please go share the channel. Please, guys, we are almost to 100 subs. About 20 more. Please go share the channel. Thank you for, for your support, and I will see you all next time. Bye.